at this point, most theaters can't go on too much longer. We, we just simply can't. For a lot of families, going to the movie theaters is actually family time. And I think more than ever, we need that. There's something about being in a community of people. Theaters drive a ton of foot traffic in the centers that they're in. And without that foot traffic, all the other merchants, they all suffer. As an industry, we certainly need assistance. Without that, I'm quite simply, I'm not sure we're going to be able to get to the other side. My name is Jim Lucas, and I own Lucas Cinemas, two locations that are currently open, and one under construction. I'm Susie Rasmus. I'm from Corbin, Kentucky, and we have Tri-County Cineplex. We built that back in December of 2004. Before the pandemic hit, about how many people did you employ, and where are you at now? I think 42 employees counting the management. Uh, we now have uh, about six employees. We employ between 35 and 40, generally speaking, and now we're down to four plus our family. Quite frankly, the doors are barely open. I mean, we're considered open. Uh, however, it's, you know, many nights with zero attendance. So, you know, instead of running four or five employees and a manager, sometimes we have just a manager, sometimes just an employee, but no more than that. We're open Thursday through Sunday, only two show times rather than four that we're used to. We would run a minimum of four shows a day, seven days a week uh, at these locations. But right now we're just, uh, we're having one show during the week uh, just to, to keep people's, you know, in front of people that we are open because it was so hard when we closed uh, and, and tried to reopen. It's, it's almost like a, you had to spend a fortune advertising just to let people know that you were reopened. And then now to have no product, uh, you know, it's kind of a moot point. But, uh, uh, yeah, we're trying to stay open. A lot of people don't realize that Hollywood has basically stopped releasing their bigger movies because of the movie theaters not being able to be open and because of the pandemic. Can you talk about what that has done for attendance? We uh, rely completely on Hollywood to release products. And right now we're not getting any products uh, that, are, that are significant. We've had one or two new, the uh, new movie openings, but uh, nothing that would impact the theater uh, with any significant attendance. So primarily we're playing what's on TV and, and what's, uh, what's available streaming. As a theater operator, we really are in business to sell popcorn and concessions. And so if there's no movies for people to really be drawn into our business, um, it has really affected us tremendously. We're showing classic movies and, you know, some other lower budget uh, movies that have been offered to us. But yes, it has hurt tremendously. Or, or other venues of stages, as an example, live music, the, the day that you open, products available because there's a, a person ready to take that stage. In our situation, we're ready to open, but we don't have a product ready to take the stage. So, uh, so we're suffering in, in that capacity as well. I don't know what your situation is, but can your theater survive without any sort of help um, over the next few months? You know, we had the first round of the PPP and that was extremely helpful for us. And, uh, you know, we've exhausted that. We exhausted that several months ago. Another round of the PPP or the Save Our Stages uh, is really going to be crucial or we're going to have to shut our doors. We closed. Um, we still paid our rent, still paid our utilities. We still paid everything. We even paid, paid our employees uh, with the promise that we'd be open in a month, in, in, in two months, three months. Well, eight months went by. Um, we're back open, there's no income, and we're in trouble. You know, we even asked for relief from, say, the, the power company, as an example. And they said, no, we're, we're open, uh, the buildings are open now, we don't have COVID relief available. So, you know, I feel like I made a mistake by paying the bills uh, during the time that we were closed, because here we are open, no business, and no relief. Maybe Washington just thinks that the movie theater industry is all Hollywood and all this money. And, you know, it, it, they, maybe they don't realize the individual cost and all the, I believe there's over 150,000 people that are employed in the movie, movie theater industry in the United States. And these are not 
you know, millionaire Hollywood people. These are people just working. Right, right. And, you know, it's a, it's a tremendous um, outlay of capital to, to invest in a movie theater and to operate a movie theater. I mean, just uh, it is not a, a big profit margin, even in great years. You know, we do it because we love movies. We have a lot of hourly employees, uh, management that are that are in middle class, uh, even our owners. <laughs> As an example, me, we're firmly in the middle class and we do struggle. Um, we're not millionaires. We're not the Hollywood tycoons. Uh, we're small town America that has theaters in small town America. One of the only reasons that we're still in business and open right now is that, you know, I've got a lot of kids and a husband and, you know, my, my sister-in-law is the office manager and my niece and my nephew. And we've all just rolled up our sleeves and, you know, we're trying to work and get, get beyond this. Uh, I don't know what other people are doing. I don't know how you could do it without family. Maysville, Kentucky, as an example, there's not another theater within 50 miles. Um, if this one closes, there's not going to be one that reopens there. It's just not economically feasible to, uh, to reopen a theater in a small town in this environment. The churn of that money in our local economy is not happening because people aren't leaving their homes, you know, and so it, it definitely has that trickle down effect that I think we're gonna be dealing with for a long time. A lot of the downstream of the industry that's affected when we close. I mean, you know, you're talking about everybody from the HVAC companies to uh, the suppliers that we use. But not only that, one of the bigger things that's happening is foot traffic that theaters bring to centers. You, you start looking at a theater that, that brings in X number of people, the restaurants around it uh, uh, benefit, the shopping benefit. And once that happens, especially in a small town where that theater goes away, people are gonna leave that town for their shopping, for their entertainment. It's gonna affect the entire area. That town is going to suffer because of the, the synergy that theaters bring with foot traffic. Going to the movies is one of the few things that every family loves to do. You know, you'll always see kids complaining about the museum or whatever it may be that they don't want to do, but I've never seen a kid scream, I don't want to see a movie. That just doesn't come out of their mouth. It's it's just such a thing that every family does. I agree. It's, it's just one of those uh, family fun events that makes everybody happy. They get their, you know, hot buttered popcorn and go, you know, scooch down in the seat and in the darkened auditorium, we don't allow cell phones. And so they can just unplug and enjoy each other and laugh together. And it's that communal experience, not the family, but the family as a whole, the community as a whole. You have gourmet kitchens at home, but people go out to eat. It's the same, you know, you, you can have any kind of uh, streaming TV, movie room, and you still want to go out as a family and come to the theater and, and enjoy that evening out. Uh, you know, the different genres that are available from uh, when, we, when we have product that's coming in regularly brings everybody. A little bit of relief is better than none at all. And I think that's where we are now. They came together, you know, back in March to help everybody to come up with the CARES Act and the PPP funding. I wish they could do that again because, you know, it's the mom and pop that are gonna save this world. Theater owners everywhere are on the brink of bankruptcy. You know, we don't have the means of, of some of the publicly held companies to uh, to sell stock and to raise cash. Uh, we're, we're pretty much putting the money in the bank ourselves to stay open. We don't normally ask for help, you know, we're, we're self-sufficient people, you know, uh, but, but this, this virus has really knocked us down. Small town theaters will be non-existent if we don't if we don't do something. Right now, Congress is looking at many different forms of stimulus. There's the Save Our Stages Act, which could include movie theaters. There's the continuation of the PPP program. All of these could be very beneficial to our industry to make it up onto the other side when the pandemic is behind us. Hollywood is releasing more films. And we get back to a more normal state of affairs.